y'all it's me pretty witty 77 and if you are a witty then welcome back to my channel but if you new here what's up so today i'm going to be trying the rib air blow dryer i finally saved up my coins to purchase one because you know everybody ain't fortunate enough to be you know sit one for the free but it's all good i actually got this for a christmas present for myself but it was on back order so i'm just now receiving it a couple of days ago it's time to try it out i hate blow drying um my arms are always tired um, I'm standing on my feet. By the time I get done with the process, I'm drained. I have to chase it with a comb. I don't like the texture that my hair is when it's blow dried. Um, when I was relaxed, I like that blow dry hair better. I don't know. But we're about to see what it do, what it do, baby. Okay? <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing the results, then keep watching. So I shampoo my hair with Melanin Hair Care Shampoo. It is a African black soap shampoo. That shampoo always does what it needs to do when I need my hair to remove all products from it. My hair is currently product free, but this one I'm gonna be using. I have the Chi 44 Iron Guard as a heat protectant. And I, for my leave-in treatment, I'm gonna be using the Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment Bam. This is what I use when I blow dry my hair. Hopefully it does what it needs to do. The Miracle Styler leave-in treatment will be applied first. I actually just went ahead and did that, but I'm gonna apply per section as I'm getting, um, as I separate, I'm gonna apply the thermal heat protectant. So yeah, I'm gonna eventually work it in. Now, if it's one thing that my hair has, it's density. So I know you're supposed to work in smaller sections. This is just one of the four sections and it looked like half of the back of my head. Like, So yeah, I'm probably going to divide this into two and then maybe divide this section into two because half of it, this is half of that hair. So this blow dryer actually comes with seven suction um, levels. It also comes with a cool shot function and it also comes with low heat and then there's high heat so that's all i'm working with um i ain't gonna even play around <laughs> i'm gonna stay away from high right off the bat but i ain't trying to play around i got hair to straighten or <laughs> blow dry <laughs> So I ain't seen this hair this straight in a really long time. Um, does it feel good? I think I need to add a shot of moisture right after each section because I'm not liking the way that my hair feels right now. Um, given that I only have one product on and I want to keep it light, but still um, I'm not comfortable with the moisture levels of my hair right now. So maybe... Um, I need to add a product after that because I'm just really anal. I don't just because my hair looks good, it doesn't mean anything. If it doesn't feel good to me, it's a no go. So I just ran and grabbed my Soul Tentacles Marula Muru Moisture Guru. I think that's how you say it. I apply a very little amount to this section, and now it actually feels like hair again. So <laughs> let's go. my hair feels like hair is actually the straightest i've seen it because when i blow dry it's, it don't look like this <laughs> but um my current setting i have it on a six out of seven and i'm currently using it under the high heat around a minute uh 20 seconds that's what is taking my hair and immediately after I remove my hair from the river I add um, a really small dosage of this moisture guru um, moisturizer and my hair feel good so I can't wait to get done even though the uh this is kind of heavy I have a stand for it actually and it, this got some weight to it so this ain't gonna fall it better not fall it's way too expensive but yeah this actually gets heavy um, unlike the traditional hair blow dryer where you have to constantly do this and chase it with a comb. Um, once I learn how to hold this, 
and where my hand is like resting on this part, but you know, I can kind of lower it or, you know, tilt my head to a certain angle. Ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. This is actually a half of the section. So I have a lot of time to go. Um, just wanted to let y'all know about my learning curves and the moisture struggles. But listen, I think I got my little, little routine down. We shall see. I'm so happy. Mm, ain't you happy? Okay, 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 okay. Bridgerton. I have never seen my natural hair stretched out to perfection like this. Like, imagine if I straighten it. Oh, I can already tell y'all what's coming up. A length check, okay? A trim. That's number two. And should I straighten it? Let me know in the comments if you think I should just, I mean, I'm already halfway there. Should I just go ahead and put the flat iron to it myself? Um, Mm, if I flat iron, should I do it before I trim? In my opinion, I feel like this machine, it's a machine, okay? It's just not a regular dryer. This thing is huge. But I feel like over time, it will pay for itself. Um, it's just like having someone in your head, flat, I mean, not flat iron it, but like blow drying your hair with a comb. All you got to do is hold it. So after you use this device a certain amount of times, I feel like it's going to pay for itself. I'm not mad. It was a lot. I did pay my coins. So therefore, I will get the use out of it. You feel me? So if you're interested in any of the upcoming videos that I have on my hair, make sure that you're subscribed. And if you already are subscribed, make sure you got the notification bell beside the little subscribe box. Make sure you got that check. So you're going to be notified when I post that video, boo. As always, thank y'all so much for taking the time out to watch my video. By the way, tell your fine daddy Black Rapunzel said was good.